I'm going to show you how to set up and configure alerts in the Pro Real Time platform. Many types of alerts are available. To configure options related to alerts, go to Options, Platform Options. You will then see the Alerts and Sounds tab that you can select here. When a chart alert is activated, you can play a sound, display a pop-up, and display an arrow on the chart. These options can be configured here. You can also play sounds when probe back test orders are executed and display pop-ups. The type of sound can be configured here. You can use a male voice, a female voice, or the default sound, or upload a sound of your own. To hear what the alert would sound like, you can click on this button. Alert triggered. You can also play sounds when different types of orders are executed. For example, at market orders, limit orders, stop orders, or trailing stop orders. Buy at market executed. Buy limit executed. Buy stop executed. Buy trailing stop executed. The type of sound played will change depending on if your order is a buy or sell order, and if this option is checked, it will specify whether it exits were with gains or losses. You can also enable sounds on order status changes, for example, pending orders or canceled orders. Alerts can also be played when a new instrument is detected in the top movers or pro screener lists. And you can play a sound when trading resumes after a period of inactivity on tick by tick lists. Let's create a simple alert. Click on the bell icon and then click on the chart where you want to place the alert. The alert can be placed on the price panel or on an indicator panel. In the settings window, we'll choose price less than or equal to a specific value. The alert will be triggered in real time with the standard message sound. You can add a comment to your alert here. You can get a notification via email or via SMS if you have credits. You can also associate an order to your alert if you want. You can set the quantity here and associate a stop and target with the distance from the main order. Click here to create your alert or click here to disable it and store for future activation. The order is also displayed on the chart. You can remove an order associated to an alert by canceling the order on the chart. The alert, however, itself will still be there. The alert status window shows us a lot of important information. For example, the ticker, the last price of the instrument, the status of the alert, the references and values, for example, price less than or equal to a specified value, and the time frame, as well as the order if one is present. You can modify an alert by clicking on the wrench key here. Once you have finished your modification, click Modify Alert. Alert triggered. When an alert is triggered, the pop-up will be displayed and the sound will be played if you have set those parameters. You'll also see the triggered status here in the Alert Status window. Just like any other list window in the platform, 
you can change the order of the columns displayed, sort the list, and customize the columns displayed by clicking on the wrench icon here. Now let's create an alert on an indicator. I'm going to draw a line on the RSI indicator here and place an alert on it. The line is highlighted when I move the mouse over it with the alert tool selected. In the settings window, I can choose RSI less than or equal to the line and click create alert and it will also be displayed in my alert status window. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.